going to voicemail now. It was ringing before. Why is it doing that? How do I know, Sam? I was half hoping she'd be back by this morning. She doesn't even stay up after ten. Gives her a funny head. Always <laughs> says she needs her own bed. OK, what, well, and there's nowhere else that you can think of for us to look? No family, friends or whatever? So she's got us lot, and that's it. You know that. What? It don't mean she's got out to do with all that baby rubbish, does it? Son, listen to me, hey, please. Why? I know what you're thinking, all of you. We're not thinking anything, cos we, we don't know anything not till we talk to Lydia. What if something's happened? I can't wait any longer. I'm going to go and tell the police, report I'm missing. Ah. <laughs> I have got a job of my own, you know, while you're sat in here crushing cars. Mm. When you say job, do you mean flicking through magazines and Googling where you can find real pink ducks? That woman said that they existed. <laughs> Erst that, mate. You sure about that? Beat you, not Jeremy Paxman. Clarkson. Whatever. Him and all. Oh, messaging back. You at work, reckon it could prove a tidy earner. You see, he has got a good work ethic. Mm, don't take half of you, then. Why not? Go. Oh. Long as the old fogies at work there leave me alone long enough with the tail. Hashtag I'm out of here. Wait a minute, do you... Do you think Jacob's gonna steal from the cafe? And they say the screens aren't addictive, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just uh, looking at football techniques for training later. Thought I'd offer to take the session with Doug being laid up. So you're a man down, are you? Well, I could stand in. Footballers' legs like these. <laughs> I've been mistaken for Lineker before, you know. Oh, yeah? Well, you weren't eating a packet of crisps at the time, were you? <laughs> Very droll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retracting my offer of playing now. Yeah, you couldn't afford me anyway. Yeah, let's have a look. Amy Hun. Hey! Did you get me text? Uh, I got a load of kebab booze and bomb emojis presumed you'd sat on your phone. Don't be soft. I've got the day off, so I thought we'd have a few of mine later, a bit of a girly night in. Might ask Tracy if she wants to join. Well, mightn't that be a bit weird, having Tracy there? What with me and Nate sort of being back together? Oh, if Tracy won't care. She'll be fine, man. And anyway, it's not like you've got out else on where you're being jobless and that. Oh, cheers, ma'am. Yay! I'll get the fizz in. Dad, you got a minute? I've got a feeling it's more than a minute you're after. Yeah, you're talking about leaving for good and we can't even discuss it. It's been discussed, Robert, by me and Victoria. She's the one that's most affected by all of this and that's what I'm focusing Splitting on. Splitting up the family affects all of us. And Victoria, she's massively vulnerable right now. That doesn't make running away the right decision for her. And tell me, what kind of magic wand have you got that'll make that lad go away? I haven't. Just like I haven't got a right to ask you to stay. I wish you would. I can't imagine my life without you around, without either of you. I'm not abandoning you, sweetheart, but our hand's been forced, and I'm damned if I'm going to let that girl suffer a moment longer. Mm. Sorry for ducking out. Doug dropped the remote and was forced to watch back-to-back -back Pokemon. <laughs> How are you managing? Hey, he's doing fine. How is the patient? Oh, still flat on his back, moaning and groaning, and whittering on about repainting the ceiling once he's up and about. Oh, now what, Doug? Ooh, can I take him some muscle up? His bum's numb. I wish it was his texting fingers. Sorry, I'll have to nip back. Jacob! Brenda giving you a job, I share? It's just a trial. Oh, it's great. We'll go find a table and see if we can't give you a glowing review. OK. Hey, I might uh, take this opportunity to nip to the little boy's room. I don't think your dad and Layla will give you any grief while I'm gone. So, uh, no. Oh, OK, I'll get back to you. Right, thanks, bye. Uh, how can I help? Yeah, I need to report someone missing. It's my fiance. I see. She's not answering the phone and just not like her. I know she were upset. OK. Uh, first things first. Can you give me your fiancé's name? Oh, dear. He's acting suspicious, and I'm not just imagining it. Oh, stop staring at him. Take it down a bit. Just act normal. 
I think he's just waiting for the right moment. <sighs> well, if he is, it's now. By the time Ron has been in that toll, I'm bursting. Because he's old. Yeah. So it'll give you a bit of grief on your first day. How's it going? Fine. Listen, just uh, stand there, will you? What? Move over a bit. Keep looking over your shoulder or something. Why? I'm trying to get back at Leo or something. What are you, what are you doing? I think love might be in on it and all. I'm sorry, but I can't stand this. Not Layla. It's a nice penny, that, Jacob. Yeah? You sure you didn't just want an excuse to come check up on me? I don't want you making a mistake on your first day. Lilla, don't. What kind of mistake, exactly? I know, all right? I know that you were planning to steal off Brenda. Please don't ask any questions. If you just let me phone a taxi, then I'll go. Go where? I don't know. What are you on about? And I've been thinking it's not fair leaving you to explain everything to Samson, so I, I thought I could write him a letter. What? Will you stop saying daft things? Samson don't want some stupid letter. Just like I didn't yesterday. It's like I don't want you to go anywhere. That girl in the newspaper. It was me. That's why I had to come here and tell him. The baby that they found, it were mine. I knew you'd think the worst of me. I don't understand. I take it I've missed something. You're OK. What's going on? <laughs> Jacob? She accused me of stealing. Only it was a setup, and she walked right into it. I know about your sly little gaming scam. Your fake online profile. How messed up is that? Uh, can I catch up? Uh, it's just a bit of a misunderstanding, that's all. I don't think so. Accusing me of Nick improves it was her. I only said it to catch you out. I'm not sure your trial could have got off to a better start. Layla, is this true? Except the part about it being Layla. It was me, Jake. Sam Love, your dad was getting worried about you. Yeah, what did they say? Down the cop shop. They released me. Pending further investigation. Right, so when you say pending further investigations, what exactly did you tell them? The truth. I made a statement. It's up to them now to decide what happens to me. OK. Well, you look knackered. You both do. Shall we give them some space? Yeah. Ooh. Well, good to have you on. Whatever the, uh, the... Well, you know what I mean. Those of us who know you, it's... Anyway. Thank you. I'll, I'll make us some tea, eh? I've drunk nothing but these last 24 hours. Yeah, well, no harm in sticking kettle on just in case. I know what it said in the newspaper. There was one at the station. You said you'd seen it. Said your name weren't Lydia. They were Jennifer or something. Jenny? Said you lived in a children's home and you ran away because you. Because. Because I got pregnant when I was 15 and I had a baby. And I never told anyone. Until yesterday. Is that not a bit silly? Yeah, uh, never found that. Or oh, anything that doesn't go with Prosecco, in fact. Mm. Oh, go on, live a little. Try one. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big cake fan. Yeah, well, I guess when you know how easily led astray your boyfriend is, you can't afford to even put on an ounce, right? Hey! 
Come on, play nice. <laughs> I'm only messing. Besides, she knows what Nate's like by now, surely. Right, you. Get one of them in your gob now. He's not my boyfriend, by the way. We'll have a laugh sometimes, that's all. Not that I need to justify myself to you just because you happen to have slept with him. Hey! Right, well, we're all agreed then that mates are more important than boys, yeah? Cheers. Craig Reed, it was. Got put next to him for bottom set maths. Teacher was trying to stop me talking so much in class. I wish she'd sat me next to someone else. You don't mean he? No. No, nothing like that. He was a bit of a drip, really. Harmless enough. I was daft and careless. Stupid, mostly. When I found out I was pregnant, I thought they'd make me give it to someone else. Who'd let a 15-year-old in care keep a baby? But what about your mum and dad? My mum had put me there. She, um, she went well. Cried too much and, uh, I don't remember me dad. I was five. Can't imagine being able to do it, can you? No. Oh. You never said a word. I couldn't. Not afterwards. I never, ever wanted to lie to you. I think somewhere along the line, it, it stopped feeling like a lie. It had been so long. What happened to the baby? I'd, I'd not thought past having it. I got a book from the library. Scared myself stupid. And this naive hope that when the time came, I'd know what to do. Only when it did, it. it wasn't like it was supposed to be. Lydia, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. My baby didn't cry. It didn't look at me. I waited for it to. I held on to it so tightly. I tried my best to love some life into him. It was a little boy. <laughs> Rodney, can I, uh, ask your advice on something? Well, I can see from your discomfort that you mean a woman advice. Hey, why is everyone always assume he's the only ex heart for a brown day worth pumping for info? A woman likes a sense of humour. Always keep them laughing. Not necessarily at you, though, hey, Rodney. Yeah, hey, that's very <laughs> funny. You see, Bob's your more old-fashioned fuzzy bear, slapstick kind of date, whereas I... Please tell me you're not taking relationship advice off Rodney and Bob Five Wives, or however many years you've had. Uh, no, not exactly. Oh, good. Because if you want my advice, definitely do not take theirs. Thanks. I don't suppose what I said before is that time sinking. Like I explained, this isn't personal, love. Oh, so it's not about Benice, then, or your grandkids, cos we all need you, Diane. Oh, don't make me feel guilty, please. Why? Cos you're worried what I'm saying might get it through to you. Leaving your whole family behind, it's a, it's a massive mistake. Admit it. We've been over this. I wouldn't have chosen to start again somewhere new at my age, but I don't feel like I've got much choice. I'm gonna get a drink. I thought that it was my fault, that I'd done something wrong. Cos I'd not told anybody or had any check-ups. It won't have been, will it? That's what happens sometimes. Little ones, they don't always make it. I've seen it with pigs. Born sleeping, people call it. 
So I gave him a kiss and I told him I was sorry. I knew I couldn't stay there all night. One of the other kids had come knocking for the bathroom. I'd lied, locked myself in the top loo, pretended I was being sick. What did you do then? I wrapped him in my jumper while I cleaned up. And then I took him outside, under my coat. My legs were like jelly. A load of the others used to go to a youth club on a Wednesday, so it was quiet. There was some woodland nearby, so I... I found a place for him. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> and then I, I covered him over and walked away. Just left him there. With nothing... Not a single thing to prove he existed at all. <sighs> I was so scared that they'd find out what I'd done. I packed a bag. Asked a bus driver what was the furthest I could get to on a day saver. Turned out it was Scarborough. So I went. Stop telling people I will call Jenny. Changed your name. She was a girl I'd met, Lydia Hart. Somebody had helped me find her. A bed sit and she had the one upstairs. Skinny little thing. Somebody found her on the floor, cold. Anyway, after they'd taken away, I, uh, I found her purse with a birth certificate. I thought they were coming for me. Anyway. Now you know. Oh. Hey, shall we go to the pub? See who else is about? Who'd be dead at this time? Right, let's go into town then. Oh, go on, I haven't been out for ages. Nah, not for me. Well, I'm not gonna lie, girls, I've had more out there afternoons waxing pensioners. I thought being single meant that you got to be wild. Look, I'm not wild, and uh, she ain't single, whatever she says. Oh, this is lousy. Ah, um, so you won't mind if I head off then? No presents for this unless she's going. Uh, and uh, what if I do mind? Oh, cheers, ma'am. Eh, well, me and you can still have another drink, eh? Oh, no thanks. I've got heartburn from all them cakes. Oh, right. Priya mentioned going to the cinema, so I am going to shower and text her. Oh. Okay. Please yourself. Every beggar else does. Wow. Good times. Jacob? What? Don't say you're all right with what he did. No. But I do understand where his desperation came from. Desperation's the word, all right. Maybe it's because I miss you, mate. So why are you always on my case? Like some tragic weirdo stalker? I thought it was the only way you were going to give me the time of day. By acting like a psycho? Making out you were 18? Some student. The sooner I shake you off for good, the better. Ah, oh, maybe you take you should take that back, eh? You're wasting your time, Grandad. So if he didn't care, that would make it better, would it? Dunno. All I know is I don't care. Not about him. Jacob, come back here. I asked you to come. <laughs> Grandad, you're OK? Oh, I'm not trouble. Take some deep breath. Just deep breath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Can't believe you went through all that on your own. I don't think I could have. I was terrified as what, what might happen if people had found out what I'd done. Only now they're going to, aren't they? Everybody will. Don't make it any of their business, though. I buried my baby, Sam. Without a name or a proper grave. Without acknowledging he existed to a single soul. People will no doubt think I'm mad. We're still evil. You were scared, and a kid, and something terrible had happened. You, you didn't have anyone to help you. I still knew it were wrong. Like I knew it with me. Miscarriages with Steve. I'd already proven I want fate. How can you say stuff like that? Bad things happen to folk. Don't make it your fault. I took a dead girl's name and I lived a lie. To everyone. Worst of all, you. Now I've got to pay for what I've done. If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can go to itv.com slash advice for support information. The brand new series of Long Lost Family continues at 9 tonight with one of the most incredible stories we've seen on the show so far. But coming up next on ITV, Robert faces a big dilemma in the face of tonight's Coronation Street in a moment.